Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Breezy Kicks. Now today we're going over the Jordan 1 High in this bold colorway. But before we do that, make sure if you are new to the channel, you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the content. Follow me on Instagram at Breezy underscore Kicks 23. With that being said, it's your boy Breezy Kicks. Let's get it. Jordan Brand's early 2021 lineup has started to leak, which already includes a few Air Jordan 1 colorways. One of those includes this upcoming offering that comes dressed in a mix of white, bolt, university gold, and black. This Jordan 1 features a white leather base with black overlays up front, bolt on the ankle, and gold heels. A yellow translucent flip tongue label completes the design. Look for the Air Jordan 1 High Bolt Gold to release January 9th at select Nike retailers and the Nike Sneakers app. The retail price tag is set at 170 US dollars. Now, I will get into resell all that good stuff. I will also leave places to cop this shoe in the description below. Make sure you guys enter in those raffles. You might as well do it. It just betters your chances at getting the shoe. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of this colorway for one reason mainly, and that is this nasty neon bolt color. I just don't like it. The shoe could have came out really nicely if they just would have kept it simple. If this shoe was black, white, and yellow, I think people would go crazy for it. Like 100% people would go crazy for this shoe. But Jordan Brand wants to throw some stupid crap on a shoe. They throw some weird neon colors in the weirdest spots and we get this crap. Now not only that, but the quality is kind of garbage. Like you look at the leather on here, it's just not impressive. And I know some of you guys are gonna hate me just for saying this, cause oh, how dare you hate, you know, anything Jordan brand, but sorry, I don't like it. I honestly just feel like Jordan brand's giving us the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, and just making it worse. Like they're throwing the nastiest colors, nastiest materials on these shoes, and I don't mean nasty in a good way. This is just gross, it's garbage. It's garbage materials. Uh, the quality is just going down and the retail price is going up. It just doesn't make sense to me. I pretty much got white underlays, black overlays around the toe section, the gold part on the heel. The shoe does come with a set of white laces and a set of black laces. You have a black lining, white insole, midsole is white, and your outsole is solid black. Now, let's get into resale. This shoe currently is going for around $250 to $300, and that's before release. After release, it's definitely gonna drop. I still think this shoe has a little bit of a resale potential just because it is a Jordan 1. You know, a lot of people are just gonna buy this shoe to resell it just because it is a Jordan 1. Then you got the people who actually want it as a personal, but they won't be able to get it because of resellers, and then pretty much resellers control the market. So I definitely think there is gonna be some resale on this shoe, but I really don't think there's gonna be much. I see it sitting around 200, give or take 25 bucks. So, you know, 175 to 225 is where I see this shoe sitting. Now, if you can get multiple pairs of this shoe, that definitely makes it worth it, where you can sell 10 plus sneakers, make 25 bucks off each one, that's $250 profit. Like, that's not a bad day, That's you know, that's not bad. So, if you are looking to resell, there is a way to make a decent amount of money off this colorway. Let me know what your guys' resell predictions are in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this colorway. Do you like it or are you like me and you think this one is just a miss on Jordan Brand's part? If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the content. Follow me on Instagram at Breezy underscore Kicks 23. That being said, your boy Breezy Kicks, we out. I don't trust no one but a guy that we trust, nigga. If we get rated, everything is getting flushed. I done had 12 through that shit more than once, nigga. If I gotta go and make a move, best believe it's getting done. Uh, best believe it's getting done. Huh? Best believe it's getting done. I don't trust no one but a guy that we trust, nigga. If we get rated, everything is getting flushed. I done had 12 through that shit more than once.